That right there is about a $600 1911 10 millimeter. Now, those of you that are unfamiliar with the 10 millimeter, let me tell you, it is a awesome handgun cartridge for deer size game. Um, you know, I, I put the holster on my hip, put the gun in the holster, and I got the shotgun just in case, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not one of them people that really wants to be an elitist with just a handgun when I come out deer hunting, you know, if I got to reach out there 125, 150 yards with a slug gun, then I'll, that's what I'll do, but this handgun hunting, man, it, it doesn't get old, it holds, adds a whole new challenge to, uh, to hunting deer. I had some does come in earlier, and I was gonna shoot one, but uh, between running the camera and they were so close, and my movement was real minimal, I couldn't I couldn't get it done. So I didn't think it was any big deal because I had another group of does coming behind. Them. Well, for some reason, the one doe, the lead doe, got a little bit boogered, and I don't know how because my sense blowing. 180, 180 degrees in the opposite direction of her. So she kind of got boogered and came around and was doing what big pain in the butt does do, you know. When them does get in close, you know, I mean, I got I, I started getting shaken a little bit because I knew I was, I was going to get a shot at one, but buried the front post on her front shoulder, slowly squeezed the trigger, let the gun surprise you. And I just watched it back on video yeah. and it looked like I hit her perfect. I'm going to go ahead and get down here in a couple minutes. Give her just a little bit of time. And uh, see what kind of blood trail we got. But that's definitely a dead deer. And there she is. Most of the uh, handgun kills I've had, I'm thankful that there's snow on the ground. She only went about 90 yards, but uh, they don't bleed. You know, I'm using a good, good uh, jacketed hollow point. But uh, <laughs> tell you what, this handgun hunting, like I said, it doesn't get old. You know, that's why I buy a bunch of doe tags. Yeah just so that I can get them does in close and pop them with the hand cannon. So it was a cool hunt. Thanks for following it. I'm glad I got everything on video. But uh, I got some tender vittles for the, uh, for the freezer. So it was a good hunt.